Hey guys, Dalek44 here. I need no introduction, but I got one anyway. Has anyone else besides me heard about the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers reboot movie? Yeah, that was a pretty stupid question to ask, since pretty much every Power Rangers fan has heard of this reboot movie, and a number of Power Ranger fans on YouTube have been talking about it. So, since they're talking about it, and giving their opinions, I thought I'd throw my tenor in. <laughs> Get it? Throwing my tenor? I just threw a tenor? Yeah. Get it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. Yeah. Okay, enough fucking around. Let's get on with the video. On the 7th of May 2014, Saban and Lionsgate announced that they would be working together to produce a new Power Rangers feature film, which is set to be a reboot of the original Mighty Morphin days. The film is due for release in 2016, and it's set to take place sometime before the Rangers became Rangers. So I'm guessing that means that they're most probably going to focus on when the Rangers became friends before they became Rangers, since they were already friends in the TV series. A lot of Power Ranger fans will be happy to know that this film will be in continuity with the series and any of the original actors are open for a cameo in the reboot. So since everyone's given out their opinions of this reboot movie, I'm going to give out my opinion. And I think it's a good idea. Yeah, I think that a reboot of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers series as a movie is a very good idea. I mean, think about it, we haven't seen Mighty Morphin Power Rangers on TV for years. I mean, yeah, we did get some reruns on Nickelodeon after Saban bought the franchise back from Disney. Not to mention the fact that the show has been released on DVD in America and Europe. My hopes for this reboot film are very high since Haim Saban is involved with it, as well as Lionsgate. And I guess it will be sticking true to the original since Saban created the original. And I don't mean the original in Japan, I mean the original in America. But you're with me that. And I'm pretty glad that Saban's doing this film instead of Disney, because we all know what Disney tends to be like with well-known franchises. We've got to have money. And if you want to know my opinions of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie from 1995, I did enjoy it as a kid, and I still enjoy it today. I admit it's not 100% as good as the original show, but it's not terrible. I just class it as... Good. There's been a lot of rumours centering the reboot film. Mostly with the casting and all that. I have no idea who they've rumoured to play the Rangers, because the lists they've shown are a bunch of actors that I've never really heard of. But I'm sure whoever they'll choose will do a great job at capturing the original spirit that the original actors had. One rumour I definitely know is the fact that Liam Neeson may be called in to voice Sordon. And I think that's a very good idea. I mean, Liam Neeson's gone from being a Jedi Knight to being Ra's al Ghul, to being a bad cop in the Lego movie. And I think he'd be the right choice for Sword On. But that's just me, I don't know. Maybe he is the right choice, maybe he isn't the right choice, but we'll have to wait and see. And it's also been rumoured that Tom Hardy is meant to play Goldar in the reboot films. So basically, the guy who played Unnecessary Evil is rumoured to play <laughs> That's an interesting choice. The reason I say reboot films is because I reckon they're going to do a series of reboot films based on Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. My guess is that the first one may be centering around how the Rangers got their powers and how the Green Ranger was created, and a possible sequel could center around the introduction of Lord Zed and the Thunder Swords, and a possible third one could be the introduction of Rita Revolto as well as the introduction of the Ninja Swords. But that's just my theory, I don't know if they're going to make several films, but like I said we'll have to wait and see. I've gone on record a number of times by saying that Lord Zed is my favourite Mighty Morphin Power Rangers villain ever, as well as being the best villain in the franchise in my opinion. And I really hope that he's going to be in this reboot movie, because as I said, he's one of the best villains in the franchise. And if they do introduce Lord Zed in the film, I'm not really sure if they'll bring back Robert Axelrod to voice him, but I don't know, we'll have to wait and see that as well. <laughs> We all know that Turbo, a Power Rangers movie, was a pretty bad movie based off of the franchise. Even the nostalgia critic acknowledged that Turbo, a Power Rangers movie, was a pretty bad movie, even though he wasn't a Power Rangers fan himself. But he did say that Power Rangers has its fans, and it's for the fans. 
but the Turbo film wasn't exactly up there with the other series as well as the Turbo series. In fact, the Turbo series wasn't that popular either. So I think it's a very good idea that they're going to do a reboot film of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It's a show that I grew up with in the 90s and it's a show that I'm happy to watch any time. And as long as the reboot project's in the safe hands of Saban, then I'm pretty sure they're going to stick to the original roots like it says they are. However the reboot movie turns out, I'm sure it'll be better than Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie. But I'm certain that it'll be better than Turbo, a Power Rangers movie. So as I've said many times, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers reboot movie is a great idea to me, and I look forward to seeing it in 2016. I know there are a bunch of Power Ranger fans out there who have their own opinions who haven't given them out yet, so whatever your opinions are, give them out and say what every other Power Rangers fan has to say. I'm Dollar44, and I'll see you next time, folks. Yeah.